We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Well, Spyro, I believe you're incorrect. You're not going to be there by lunchtime, considering it looks like it's kind of the morning and you're going to have to do this all in a couple hours. T but actually, technically, that's correct. You probably could do this in a couple hours. Um, but in the... Okay, why the hell am I now analyzing that? You know what? That's just overkill. So, hello everyone, Crystal Vision here. Welcome to part two of my Let's Play of Spyro 2 Getaway to Glimmer. And you know what? It may be a getaway to Glimmer, but we're out of Glimmer now, so why does that even matter? There is a portal. Portals take you to other levels. Yes. Okay. Now, Noob Mobile or Noob Mode is now over. Let's uh, let's get to, to discussing. Alright, so here we are. Here is Alora again. This is the home world called Summer Forest. There Summer Forest. Many of the you know worlds around here. You're so cheerful. I love you. Alright, okay. So yet we need to retrieve the talismans. That's what she's telling us to do. You'll see this bridge has been taken out. Yep, look at that. Ripto, he is just a crazy motherfucker. I mean, Ripto takes no prisoners. Ripto destroys... If Ripto wants to destroy bridges, he will. He has no qualms about doing that. Now, here's some really cool... Um, things like that. Do you know what I reckon they're based on? Or I, do you, I, I've got a feeling that the Jack and Daxter hieroglyphs or precursor language is based off the Spyro 2 things and like, I don't know, Naughty Dog like saw what they'd done and like, oh, you know what, let's make something similar. You know what I mean? I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, here's Hunter for the first time. Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide <sighs> rebel. across it. Press X to jump, then press... I just love the way he says glide. Now, also, you're wrong, Ripto. You don't even have... I mean, uh, Hunter, you don't even have to glide. Watch this. Ready? There we go. I, I just jumped. I basically did a square and jump. Um, now, here's water. Now, do you remember in Spyro 1? My LP from 2010. I bet you no one remembers that. But you know what? You could not swim. And that was a disgrace. A disgrace to the series. Actually, nah, you know, Spyro 1 is like is like the only Spyro game where you could get away with it not being able to swim. Like, you, there really is no need for that. I mean, it would have been cool, but like, it's kind of cool because it makes Spyro 2 that much more of an upgrade. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, if swimming was in the first one, it's, it's weird. Like, what could they do with it? What, what areas could they have swimming? You know what would be great? If, like... Alpine Ridge, like, had the swimming area, because that's got a huge body of water. Probably the largest in the Spyro series. Um, I remember someone's... Yeah, I remember, I remember I said that in the LP as well. Um, so Summer Forest is a home world, and it contains levels that we go to. You know what I mean? If, Of course you know what I mean. It's, it's quite obvious. Uh, another thing as well. See what that says? Brian. Brian, yep. And Brian is the name of someone that worked on this game. Did you know that? How incredible. Hi, Spyro. Alright, look, you look like you're pretty agile. Let's play putting it to a test. See, if you can get up, jump this first step, press X, and hold it down to get more hang time. That's nothing what he sounds like, but you know what? Whatever, now listen to him now. Okay, not bad. Now, to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press you'll have X to glide. To the way he says glide, the way the uh, voice actor says glide, so legendary. You have to glide. Nice job. Nice now job. Do a hover. A press hover. Jump. Then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, 
Press triangle to hover. Hovering to hover. So basically hovering, as I said last part I was going to talk about it, hovering is, I didn't even do it, okay? I didn't even have to do it, because, yes. Very good. Very the good. The leap of all. You'll have to give, give this, this one, one everything you've got. You'll, You'll have to give this one everything you hover. got. Just before you get to the edge of the platform, don't forget to press forward on crazy crazy times look this this jump this jump used to intimidate me when i was younger look at it now ready oh my god that was the hardest thing i've ever done in spyro it's nowhere near as difficult as the jump in mystic marsh though i'll tell you that much thumbs up to anyone that got that reference now we are essentially trapped now um it's going to take another couple parts to beat this level because we can't really do anything um i really probably should have just made myself just go straight to um the next level which i'm going to go to colossus um but yeah i guess i guess that's the part over now um i will see you in the next part when we do colossus um which will be good so yeah sorry about the short part but you know what that's what we're gonna have to do with these home worlds to get the new areas it's just the case thank you very much for watching guys this is going to be a fantastic lp and i'm excited to go to the first proper level other than glimmer. Goodbye.